It is the yearly Scream Fest at Universal Studios. Halloween Horror Nights is in full swing at a Universal. Oh, and who better to talk about it than these two? David Martin got <laughs> to do that behind the scenes look out there. And of course, Bob's a regular. I, I know, you're a regular. You guys went together. About as cocktails I was. <laughs> That was the first time I went through the entire property. All nine houses, oh, all yeah. five scare zones, and the shows. Now, this show, I should mention, is Bill and Ted's farewell tour. If you like Bill and Ted's Halloween thing, it's gone yeah. after, well, this after this year. Oh, this I got a little it. tear. I'm not going to lie to you. They, you, get, you? They, they, they have a little you retrospective at the end. A little tear. They're fine. Wow. Right. It's good. <laughs> but let me just remind people that there are nine haunted houses. Mm -hmm. Five of them are themed after movies and TV shows like The Shining, thank goodness, uh, America. American Horror Story, Saw, Ash vs. Evil Dead, but then there are other homes they've done up with their own content, their own storylines. The, the geniuses at Universal have, yeah. have made their own haunted houses. So let's listen to what they've done with those. So we have dead waters here. It is a swamp. It is nasty. We have all these zombies coming out from this riverboat that we're in currently right here. This river has, a riverboat has so much detail, uh, and you make your way through it. You go through the swamp. Then you go to the Voodoo Queen's shack. Inside, there's the apothecary. This is where the swamp witch and her turn people into living voodoo dolls. Move over to the Fallen, which is another original house. Now, the Fallen, the, the overall of this event is the festival of the deadliest. This gives us an opportunity to have that in the house. This festival has summoned these evil creatures from this hell mouth that are going to pull us into the netherworld. Uh, and they're very, very gross. Uh, and, and we're really pushing the limits of makeup design and mask design in that house. Personal favorites called Hive. It takes place in the 80s, so it kind of has that cool synth 80s VHS tape feel to it. <laughs> yeah. uh, and these creatures, if you think vampires, yeah. take everything that's sexy and cool about vampires, vampires and just throw it out. These are nasty, bestial, uh, Nosferatu type characters. Half our cast has agreed to shave their heads, so they're bald. They have uh, prosthetic ears, prosthetic noses, fangs, UV contacts, long fangs in there, uh, nails, and they're burrowing through the walls to get at you. And then Scarecrow the Reaping, which has all these scarecrows coming at you in this abandoned farmhouse. Average height, about 6'3 of these guys. Guys. They're all skinny. They're all just wrapped in roots and, and bones and fur. And uh, that house takes place in, in like Nebraska, kind of that Dust Bowl era. So everything's very dry and dusty. And these roots are pulling the farmhouse and us into the dirt. That this is a, uh, a full sensory experience. Yes. You don't get touched by the monsters and the ghouls and the, and the mayhem, but you smell things, you see things, you hear things. I think some of the best jump scares in all the houses have to do with sound. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like you don't know what that sound they'll, they'll is? Add, they, they, yeah. They'll add it to the someone jumping out That's at right. You. And yeah. without giving too much away about how they do it, they, they have it choreographed that when they jump out at you, the sound comes at the same time. Mm -hmm. And they so it they feels like one, a movie. They had one great scare. You're walking down the hallway, and you can see in the corner them in, the, in this long hallway. But it was really a mirror right. of them hiding back here. So you can, you know, I see you, and then they jump out this way. And, right. like, oh. and you do go, you, you walk through these homes you know, one after another, like a train, yeah. slowly. And you're thinking, they're never going to scare me because I can see it come out in front of me. Coming. Everybody gets scared at some point in the house. You can go through the house multiple times right. and see different things and have different scares because maybe you'll miss a jump uh, the first time through it. You mentioned the scare zones that are in between the houses. Mm -hmm. Those are the outdoor areas where people jump out at you with chainsaws. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, this sounds so fun. It is good. <laughs> it's equally scary. It can be, yeah. So my recommendation, get a liquid fear booze drink. <laughs> or liquid Take courage. Edge off of liquid it. fear, so liquid can, courage. Are, are all the other rides and everything open while all Some this is them. going on? Yep. So you can like, okay, I need a little break from and, all the scare. And, I'm going to go ride something. And there's like no lines on them. No one's okay. riding them. On the rides. Okay. So there's like five minutes. But that's, to that's good. Ride. Because so they're all in line for the haunted houses. Haunted houses. I will say this about long. the scare okay. zone. My favorite was Trick or Treat. It's a great movie, by the way, which is a lot of people haven't heard of it. Right. But it's beautiful. They do with the part with the trees and yep. all the jack-o'-lanterns up there. It feels like you're in the movie. They did such a great job with oh, that scare zone. Like yeah, yeah. And to your point, if 
you want to skip the lines, they are long, get yourself an express pass, okay. mm -hmm. or if you can upgrade, if you can afford it, do the RIP tour. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they, you skip all the lines, you get a private tour leader. Oh, wow. Or if you're an annual pass holder, you can get in early. You can get in like an hour early and do a few houses before the rest of the crowds come in. Okay. And what so did you buy for the too. year? What's it called? I got the ultimate frequent fear, so I can go any night I want. <gasps> all of them. Because I'm working in the mornings <laughs> now. <which is> <laughs> That's right, you are. I've always been jealous. I could never go because I was always working at night. Let's do it again. It was part of the reason I decided to come to the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> red He's drum. Obsessed. Red He's drum, obsessed. red drum. All right, David, that was awesome. Thanks, you going again? Thanks for joining me. Let's do it this year. Okay. Well, I don't we'll have do, that pass that you we have. Do, we do it every year, my I have friend. a job. All right, still not have a job. <laughs>